So personally, I'm into solving real world problems, but I feel that math often produces useful intuitions. This understanding of deep learning that we can get with mathematical ideas allows us to get much better at, at debugging and it allows us to get much better at kind of having an overall good understanding of the situations. And so the intuitions can prevent us from bad ideas and at the same time solving many real world problems also produce intuitions. And much of theory in deep learning doesn't really apply to the real world setting. So let me also briefly say something about the importance of groups. We design this course around groups. Groups are super helpful. If you're in a group, you keep one another accountable. If someone drops out, everyone in the group will see that and hopefully help. It, in a group, we can help one another grow. We can emotionally support one another. And groups should enable everyone to be the deep learning specialist that they want to be. So to, for groups to be successful, it's essential to have good communication there. Listen to one another. Not like it's not that it's about if you know the right solution. You want to listen. Have a model of the person that you're talking with. Ask questions. Don't assume about the other person. Be positive. We make mistakes, but mistakes are an opportunity to learn. They aren't something that makes us worse as a person. When it comes to materials, don't give answers. Don't just say this is the right solution. No, ask questions to one another that allow you to discover what the real answer is. Because this process of intellectual discovery is ultimately what makes you good as scientists and good as machine learning practitioners. Now, given that we have groups, it is important that we have positive conduct. What does that mean? We have a code of conduct. It has many components and we will ask you in a second to actually read all the parts. The first one is be inclusive. Everyone's different and that's great. And in a way, we need to include everyone regardless of where they come from. And um, you know, like I'm old, I have a family, I need to tune out early because I have to bring my uh, I have to do things with my kids. Everyone in our community has their own origin and it's important to be inclusive of that. Be considerate. Think about how your decisions and what you do affect fellow students and the TAs and everyone. Be respectful. Choose your words carefully. Obviously, don't harass. And take all those differences that we have between us and make them into a strength. So now please give our code of conduct a quick read. Discuss with your part why you think we have one and if you think it matters. And then come back in no later than 10 minutes.